let me go or you would like me. Hi, Thurm. Things have not gone as planned. Hi, Thurm. Perhaps you can aid me in locating Hytham. What is your purpose with him? I have brought a sampling of goods from Ireland. That is, if I can bring my ships to dock. Azar! I see you've met Eivor Wolfkist. Ah, so you are Eivor. In fact, I bring you a message from Ireland. I know no one in Ireland. The letter is from Dublin's king. Sadly, I seem to have misplaced it. The King of Dublin? Why would such a one write to me? He wishes to expand trade to England. The purpose of my bringing goods here. Azar is from the East, but lives in Ireland now. But in matters of trade, Azar, your king should petition Ranvi. He claims to know Eivor. He asked me to accompany you on the trip there. I know no king, and I'm certainly not about to journey to Ireland. But first, Azar, you must build a trading post. In fact, where is your trade ship? Ah, oh, yes. An unfortunate incident most concerning. Trading rivals have blocked the river and thus my goods. A blocked river hurts all Ravensthorpe. Stay. I will put things right. As you see, Eivor is a person of action. Find me later, when the river is safely clear. Of course, my friend. I thank you, Eivor. I will find the King's letter in the meantime. You keep insisting that I know an Irish King. It is a fantasy. What manner of King is it that sends me letters from Ireland? Ooh. What's wrong with you? Let's get out of here. We need to row our way out. Shit! Have to 
Azar, the river's clear, save for a few bodies and sticks. Your goods will get through. Your reputation comes honestly then, though I am not sure about the name Wolfkist. The scar on my neck. Ah. My Viking name would then be Azar One Eye. Thank you, Azar One Eye. My men will help construct your trade post. Then I am twice debted to you. If ever you change your mind about Ireland, I will be found in the trade post, once built. Oh, and I found your letter. Here. Are you prepared to go to Ireland? Asar, you did not tell me the king was my cousin. It was most amusing this way, was it not? A little mystery. I prefer to know what is what. But it was a pleasant surprise. He's eager to see you. Shall we set sail? 
Yeah. I would like to see this land. And my cousin Bardith. Ireland, a patchwork of petty kings jostling for hills and pastures and green, green glens. My adopted isle. Azar, how is it that Barith, as Norse as ice, is king of Dublin? Dublin is a Viking city, Eivor. But in fact, merchants and beggars come from all parts to parade in its muddy streets. Hard to think of Barith as king of a city. It perhaps sounds grander than it is. Ireland has many, many kings. They litter the countryside, and Barith's throne is not secure. Flan Shinna calls the tune. Who's he? Soon to be crowned High King of all Ireland. Flan distrusts Vikings, though he needs them. Barith will find a way. As a boy, he wasn't much of a fighter, but somehow always came out all right. I'm sure what you say is true. Certainly he is loved by his people. Your crew can find lodging here. Come, let us find Baris. Eivor! Blood of my blood! Look at you! You have on Rasta's cheekbones! <laughs> and you, the seven-year-old lives in you still. It has been a long stretch since we pelted old Ganfrid with apple cores. <laughs> he never forgave us that. And Sigurd in the clan? How goes with all? There is much to tell you, Barith. But let me breathe your Irish air. Thank you for keeping my ports from being set ablaze in my absence. My ports? Yes, old man. I can rule my city even without you here. Eivor, you arrive in good time. I'm hosting a feast in honor of my son, Sifrid. He is 17 today. A 17-year-old son. And rather a difficult boy at that. Come, there's much to show on the way to my castle. A kingship, a son, and a castle. Truly, you have a fine life, Barith. Castle? It is a wooden house. Finely crafted, to be sure, but in Shiraz, it would be home to a middling rug merchant. Lead me to your rock merchant's wooden hovel, Badith. Firatag is skip us and slain in medium bayon. Just look at her docks. We babe of a city, but the biggest port in all Ireland. You cannot appreciate Irish air without enduring the stench of our docks. It is upon the strength of this port I plan to secure my kingship. Asar told me that your throne may not be entirely steady. King Flan needs some persuading, is all. Dublin's vast trade web will bring wealth to all Ireland. If Flan can be made to see that, my kingship and that of my children's children will be safe. I cannot guarantee your throne, but a vast trading web is within my power. No one else I trust my commerce to, old man. <laughs> you let him call you that? I call him worse things. Morris, my king! I still owe you a horn of hell. 
This is where I leave you. Don't miss the banquet. I'll be there shortly. Barad, my mighty king. Eva, this is my cousin, Eivor. Show him the bow I had you make for him. This is for me? The craftsmanship is beautiful. Me best work. Give her a try. Hit the targets before the sand runs out. Think you can get them all? Of course I will. Stand ready to be astonished. Aren't you the confident one? Sure I'll be embarrassed for you if you shat on the eggs. Watch my arrows fly. I certainly will. Go! Very nice bow. Thank you, Barith. Steps off the boat after a long sea voyage and shoots like a master. Well done, Gusson. Wait, is that a house of God? Aye, Christ's own church. Ireland is mostly Christian now, and so is Dublin. Many Norse chew the wafer. You make a place for them. Them? I myself have a place in Christ's house, as I do in the house of Thor. So long as a god has my back, he has my altar. I've built this city up from rubble. Twenty years ago, us Vikings were beat. The Irish took revenge and sacked Dublin. Asa told me that it's a Viking city. Norse founded it, and I nursed it back to health. When I became king, I was king of a mud pit. There, up ahead, my home. <laughs> my only regret is that my mother and my wife aren't here to greet you. They've gone on pilgrimage to the mountains just now. The waters there improve mother's health. I am left to discipline my wayward son. And to host a banquet. Which should be already underway. Up, Barad! For Dia! Here we are. Please, go enjoy yourself. I must have a word with my son. Come meet him before the night's out. <laughs> hey, you're Boris' cousin. It's a grand do, isn't it? Hi. Enjoying yourself? It's great crack. It's a fine thing to celebrate future King Siegfried. I'm curious. How do you feel Barith has done as king? Oh, he's done a lovely job he has. Likes to throw feasts. Invites us common folk. More host than king, perhaps, but he's a fine man, and the city has never been busier. Can I ask, what is your life like in this city? Well, there's a fair amount of work, isn't there? Hauling crates, shoveling muck. I'm a tanner myself. Long days stripping hides and dousing them in cow piss. You can probably smell the stench. <laughs> I can. Enjoy the feast, friend. You as well. Azar, I was not sure if I would see you here. Why is that? I thought you'd rather take stock of your wares than placidly observe caterwauling Vikings. And you... You would rather spend time with this gossiping Ganti? I like to greet everyone at parties. There is no shortage of amusements. Enjoy yourself.
Ja, det är det. 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 Det är Eivor, my son, Siegfried. I'm sorry, I... I must clear my head. Could you speak to the boy? Only shitbirds mock their father under his own roof. Right, because the cousin who just arrived has the authority over how I speak in my own home. In Norway, you'd be knocked to the ground by now. Come on, then. If you have any guts worth respecting. Fine, whelp. You won't land a single punch. I guess I owe you thanks for not beating me, bloody. I'm not here to quarrel with you, Siegfried. Da speaks so highly of you. I wanted to see if you lived up to the stories. Does anyone? You are unhappy with how your father rules. Da has the makings of a fine king, but he chooses to play the unctuous merchant instead. A visit to Norway might do a young viking girl like you some good. I'd love to go with Da. Maybe the homeland would kindle his warrior spirit. Give Dublin a fair and fearsome king. I've lost track of your father. Any idea where he might be? He wanted to clear his head. That means he's visiting grandfather's grave. Da has a chat with him almost every day. Bardis can commune with the dead? <laughs> no. His conversations are all one-sided. The grave sits at the top of the hill. I'll find him. Thank you, Siegfried. Eivor! Teach me how to hit like that sometime. Aid me. Be my eyes. Bardith. Huh. Why so uneasy? <sighs> A king must forever be on guard. When I'm upset or uncertain, I come here to seek my father's spirit. I didn't even ask after him. Somehow I knew he'd... Some years ago, he was destined to die in battle, and he did. He sits with Odin now. My family owes yours a solemn debt. That winter, your family came to stay with us. I remember your birth, screaming like a warrior. The plague year. No one would take us in. No one but your mother and father. I owe your family my life. And what a life we had. I have fond memories of you and I slipping out to hunt. <laughs> in dead of night. 
Stars in the sky, moonlight on snow. <laughs> and that's how I got that scar. <laughs> I do feel bad about that. What about the one on your cheek? This? A caution from the guards about my vanity. Come. If we tell all our stories, we'll be here a week. Do you see something? My imagination drawn amok, but let us away. Funny how just the slightest noise sets a fellow on edge. Why Thor's hammer, Barith? I could sleep a week. Not as spry as the old days, eh? When we'd search the night in hopes of catching a will-o'-the-wisp. Did we catch one? I have a memory of catching one. My ascension to the throne has not been without contest. The previous king's son, Thorstein, is resentful. You told me nothing of this. You are my guest. I'm not going to burden you with petty concerns. Petty concerns? I now know why you've been anxious all evening. I... tis worrying. He's never been so bold before. He sees you as a usurper to his throne. Perhaps, but he doesn't seem to want to take it. He contents himself by stealing and smuggling with his band of ruffians. It's petty Viking raiding, but it puts me in a bad light with Flor. That's certain. Keep a sharp watch. Brigands rove the streets tonight. You can be sure of me, my king. the last to leave a party. What is wrong? We were ambushed by Thorstein's men. Rivals I was not made aware of. Small wonder King Flan does not embrace you, Barret. You cannot keep control of the Vikings in your own city. Thorstein makes me look like more of an arse than I do on my own. I see. It is the High King's disfavor that makes this shameful. My cousin, I will take care of Thorstein. No, I do not want to drag you into this sorry mess. Perhaps he'll accept Silver to lie low. For a week or two. But then he'll be back, and back again. I can remove this blood, once and for all. Eivor, this is not your fight. For any and all of your God's sakes, Barith, let Eivor help you. As of this moment, Barith, my arm is yours. Whatever is needed to bring Flan's smile upon you, I will do. Eivor... I have never been so happy. Your family saved mine those years ago. A fitting reply would be to secure your throne. I will start with Thorstein. It happens that Siegfried may know something. He once ran with Thorstein's gang. Sadly true. Seek him tomorrow in the marketplace. After a night of carousing, he likes to recuperate there. We will begin to forge a bond with High King Flan on Rise of Sun. Oh, that's... 
said Sigfrid would be at the marketplace. I need to learn about Thorstein. Come, come, don't be shy. What have you got for me today? Sure, there isn't uh, some. Can I? I'll never learn. Morning, Siegfried. Eivor. It was a rough night. I drank too much and I am desperate to calm my belly. I cannot help your belly, but could you tell me what you know of this man, Thorstein? Ah. Da told you I tried to join his gang, eh? Thorstein's a real vikinger. Like you, but louder. You weren't allowed to join? Too young and gangly. Amar wouldn't even show me where his hideout is. Tell me a bit about this, Amar. Likes a rail the way kittens like milk. Spends her time getting tiddly on the docks, chatting up passersby. 
I will speak to her. Perhaps Thorstein will regret not letting you in his gang. Listen to me. If you're smart, you won't cross Amma. She's a vicious fighter. Show me. Drinking, friend. The finest ale in town. I like fine things, so you have my attention. What are you doing here, darling? Looking for good drink and good company? <laughs> You've stumbled into the right ale house. Excellent ale and better conversation. The ale leads to chatting, leads to. well, who knows? <laughs> Let's find out. I like to help with the forge ah! when I can. Soothing work. See that? That all you can do? Ooh, you are wicked! You are a compelling woman. What is it you do? You may have heard of Thorstein. I'm one of his most trusted friends. I have heard of him. Very impressive that he trusts you. He's like a brother to me. A not very bright brother. He entrusted me with a key to his secret lair. He has a lair. I would very much like to see that. Over in Dubke Landing? Sorry. Thorstein would get all pouty. But perhaps you'd like to join me for a meal. I'd rather join you for something else. <laughs> Can't wait to find out what that is. But hold that thought. I don't feel well. I best move about a bit. If they see me, this will get messy. I need to get that key from her. Trusting fool. Your key is mine. Now to find those things hide out. <laughs> Show me what lies ahead.
best to stay on my toes. Survey the area soon. Target practice. Nail the idiot. Speed on to the All Father's Feast. They will exist the lair Amar spoke of. made a mistake when you came for battle with Kiva. Oh, gods! You plan to kill me? Give my head to whatever Irish master you and Boris serve. I serve no Irish master. Bullscat! If you had any nose, Lord, you'd be like me. 
banning the filthy God Eaters from the island. The King of Dublin should look out for Vikings, not try to make nice with those cunts who killed our forebears. <laughs> Join me. I could use someone with real balls, and the silver is good. Be silent, and I might show you mercy. <laughs> Common refuse. Delivered to your judgment, King Bader. Thorstein, author of the plot to waylay me and my cousin. Well, you know how it is, Bardish. A fellow needs some silver. A king could fetch Dublin's treasury in ransom. Although I'm not certain you'd bring in quite so much. Say so, Bardish, and I will cut out his insolent tongue. On your feet, Thorstein. You bloody <sighs> my floors. <sighs> It is a weighty decision. I would have my closest friend advise me. Eivor? How shall I deal with this ruffian? People delight in public spectacle. Torture the man until he cannot walk. And no one will dare cross you again. Well said, Eivor. I want no blood feud lasting generations, Thorstein. You are not worth the bother. Dublin confiscates your land and silver. I banish you forevermore. Be gone by sundown. Bend the knee and show your thanks. Best to you, King. I've better places to be than Dublin. Father! Why choose weakness? Give every enemy a length of rope. Soon they will carry your news. Peace! Flanshinna will soon rule all Ireland. Flanshinna has the power to make or undo my kingship and that of my son. He is the center of all. But Flan distrusts me. He does not believe I'm truly Christian. By showing Christian mercy, I begin to change his mind. You are more shrewd than I took you for, cousin. Maybe Thorstein's release is worth a kingdom, but will mercy be enough? That is why I must build trade. Flan will see that the strength of Dublin's ports is the strength of Ireland. Show him the power of that trade, cousin. Obtain some rare item from afar, some spice or gem or weapon. And gift it to him at the coronation. It will represent Dublin's reach, and help secure my crown. Flan will hear of your Christian mercy. Meantime, I will speak to Asar about a gift. Meet me before the coronation. We will go together.
Eivor. Welcome to my shop. I came to ask a favor. It is pleasant to strengthen friendships. What do you seek? Barret wishes to show Flan the value of Dublin's trade. Could we obtain a gift from a distant land? This is the very problem vexing me. You see, I have acquired land in Rathdown, previously owned by Thorstein, in fact. But the land has gone to Thorn and Dog, smugglers as well. Once cleared, its trading route will serve our heart's desire. In this case, my heart desires an exotic gift, which would be... A spice merchant I know covets pelts of fine fare. Rathdown has an abundance. It is a perfect match. Spice is a gift fit for a king. Thank you, Azar. It is north of here. You go clear it of smugglers while I sit on my ass. No need for thanks. Rathdown is north of Dublin. I should journey there. Guards here are vigilant smugglers. Assar needs them cleared away. You're one of Azar's men. I am. Azar tells me you two are interested in furs to trade for a gift. It will show King Flan the reach of Bardit's trade. We'll get the furs you need. How can I help? With trade post supplies. We'll build up the post for better and faster trade. Where would I get these supplies? Monasteries are a good place. They'll have what you need. I'm curious how you and Azar work together. I gather pelts, treat them, and send the fur to Dublin. Azar trades them across the seas. We want to build up the post, both to send bundles of furs to Azar more often, and to store more to send. 
Ireland must have many trading posts. It does. Each post trades specific goods. Here, we gather fours. But elsewhere, all manner of things. Thank you, friend. Goodbye, Eivor.
with us. Build something. Done. We'll send the forest to Dublin. Azar will help you find more posts to capture. Goodbye, friend. 